Abel gave his very best. He gave the firstling. He gave the fat. And it wasn't only a tithe that he brought, but he brought an offering with it. He gave more. If, and Jesus said it in the New Testament, if they ask you to go a mile, go an extra mile. If they ask you for your coat, give them everything else that you've got. It's always giving more and giving your best. We've given crumbs long enough. We've given him just enough, just barely what we want to release to the Lord. God is saying, I want you to release everything to me. Just let it go and watch me multiply it. Watch me bless it. Two thousand nine, a year that I'm telling you financially, we were so the summer months, as y'all know. Well, no, y'all don't know. So the summer, uh, let me let you know. The summer months for ministry is the hardest, most difficult months because people go on vacation. And they're gone. And they don't give their tithes. Now, I'm a believer that if you're going on vacation, you better set your tithes apart and you send them in to the house of God because we have to operate. We have to continue to declare the word of God. The lights need to be on. There's got to be food. There's got to be meat in the storehouse of God. But people take off and they go on vacation. They forget. They go give their money. And I was thinking about that joke today that the $1 bill... Asked the $20 bill where he had been. And the $20 bill said, oh, well, I've been in Europe and I've been all over the world. So the $20 bill asked the $1 bill, where have you been? In church. <laughs> and that's what we give God, a dollar. You got a $20 bill in your pocket and a, and a $1 bill, you're going to pull that dollar out. Hello, somebody. We've got to get out of that lack of that mentality that causes us, that robs us. It robs us. When we don't give God our best, we are robbing ourselves. If we could only get it, that the more that I give and the more I release, the more it comes back to me. Now, as I was thinking about this house, New Day Fellowship, I said, Lord, Roy said it. I'm glad he said it and not me. So I'm just going to quote him, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> People come in here and they eat and they get fat. They love to come in and sit under the anointing. They love to come in and receive the word of God. Because let me tell you, week after week, they get good stuff around here. This stuff is good, what they receive, what we receive. Amen. Can I hear any amens? Amen. New Day Fellowship. Amen. Are y'all awake? Yes. Hello, y'all ready to go? I know. See, now Sunday I, I asked y'all, Are y'all do y'all have any plans? And nobody said they had any plans. Now everybody's got plans today, right? <laughs> but this house, amen, is your responsibility too. Like my brother said it. The care and the upkeep of this house is your responsibility too. So in 2010, let's all make a vow that we're going to give this house the best Amen. that we can. Will somebody do a high five with me? Yes. <laughs> We're going to give New Day Fellowship our very best so that Jesus can shine through and from this house. Amen? Amen. Don't you want to be proud of your place of worship? Yes. yes. Don't you want to be proud to say, this is my sister and we go to New Day Fellowship and we're glowing in the spirit instead of looking at him like, oh my God. <laughs> When's the last time she combed her hair? <laughs> we need to
to give God our best in our appearance. Don't leave your house looking like who did it and what for? Or why? Something like that. I don't know. We represent. We're giving God our best. We're getting up in the morning. We're seeking God. Good morning, Lord. God bless you. Thank you, Lord, that I am blessed. Now, comb your hair. Wash your face. Look beautiful for the king and for your honey. Give God your best in 2010. All right? If you didn't get up in the morning and comb your hair in 2009 and take showers every day, then start doing it in 2010. Y'all are laughing, but there's people in here probably. I don't know. Now, I'm only speaking what the Spirit's speaking. Get rid of all those torn up t shirts and funky looking. Amen. Amen. Pants. Yes, amen. Them stretchy pants. Yes. And we don't need to be wearing outside of the house. Yeah, there you go. Too there you go. Giving God your best in your appearance. Giving God your best in the appearance of your home. Giving God your best. I'm telling you, this this goes this transcends into every area of our lives. Giving God our best to our children. My 17-year-old son, he's like a big baby. Mom, I, Mom, I miss you. Mom, I want to spend time with you. Giving God our best is giving our best to those that we love and our brothers and sisters in the house of God. So 2010, the Spirit of the Lord is saying, give me the best. Give me your best. Give me your very best and I will bless you. And he will. And you will shine. And the favor of the Lord will be upon you. And whatever you ask, he says, I'll do it. Because when you give me your best, you're pleasing me. And when we please the Father, what happens? All you have to do is, ah, and the Father's there. He's there. Give God your best this year. And don't let it just be a New Year's resolution. I don't even know what that is. I guess you're resolving some issues or something. <laughs> what is it? You re you resolve something in you that, you know, you're going to do this. Well, if you want to call it a New Year's resolution, then make it until Jesus returns. Amen. Or until he takes you home. Amen. To give God your best. Pastor Jay and I were talking, and we were talking about how today the church is so different. The people who come in and get saved and they give their lives to Jesus, they come in and they're here for a minute and then they flutter out, they show up when they want to, they do what they want to do. That's not giving God your best. Yeah. We were raised, I was raised uh -huh. by a man of God and a woman of God who taught me well. Amen. They taught me well and they taught me that what I do for God, mm -hmm. everything that I do, I do it as unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. And you see, children of God, when we do our best, we're doing it as unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. One day I put that word to the test, and I went into my pantry, and I did it as if I was doing it unto the Lord. Okay. I dusted every can uh -huh. good. You hear me? I was silly as this may sound. It set me free. Amen. That's what the Spirit told me to do. I went in my closet in the pantry and I began to dust every can good that I had in there, every box, everything that was in that pantry, I began to do it as unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. And I want to tell you something, it was so organized, so beautiful, and now my husband has taken on that task. Oh. <laughs> He's very organized. Oh, praise God. He's taken on that task. You know, I'll go in there, I'll open the cabinet. And Wow, everything's lined up. Mm, Jim got in here. But everything that we do needs to be done is up to the Lord. And when we have that heart, then we know that we're giving God our best. Amen. When you come into the house of the Lord and you come in to serve, serve as unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. So what that that sister looked at you crazy? Amen. So what that she didn't say hi to you? Mm -hmm. 
But she said hi to everybody else. You are here for God. You're here to advance the kingdom of God. You're here to be a blessing to those new ones that are coming in. We're here, amen, serving as unto the Lord. 